guys, Sophia back again with another YouTube video. Ooh, if y'all can't tell by the name of the video, today I'm doing I'm doing my most requested video like ever, like ever. As soon as I started posting with them, y'all started asking what they were and where to get them. So if y'all ain't read the title today, I'm gonna be trying to animate these nose clubs. This how they look. This one was like a freestyle, so don't mind if you think it's ugly. But I'm gonna show you how to make like a whole bunch of different designs. You know, hook your girl up. And this is definitely, I wouldn't call it a fake nose ring because it's not a nose ring, it's a nose cuff. There's a difference. But it has like a little hook. And you hook it in your nose. Simple as that. And they are so cute, y'all. Um, and this is a very good alternative if your mother won't let you get your nose pierced or something like that. Or your father. Whoever you stand with, they won't let you get your nose pierced. This is a very good alternative. And it, I really highly recommend it. Like, I would have this over a nose piece any day. You know, I don't have a choice. But let's get right into the video. I'm finna show y'all what y'all need. So the most important thing y'all gonna need is some wire. Cousin D out. This is a brand of wire I use. I use 24 gauge, but you can use like, I've seen people use from 24 to 28 or 30 gauge, but the higher the gauge, the thinner the wire. So it really depends on how big your nose is. Cause if you got a big nose, you don't want no like little baby wire. That is not gonna look right. So, I mean, my nose is like mid, maybe it's a little big, but I just got 24. And y'all, this wire was only like 268 at Walmart, 268. And I have made about like 15 nose cuffs and look how much I still have left. These nose cuffs on Etsy go for $8, but I've seen some for $20, but it's $8 for one, 100 for $2. Pick your poison because I picked mine. So this is what you're gonna need, the wire. You're just gonna need some tools to shape with. The most important tool that you need is probably, probably some pliers. Um, these are the only ones I can find, but you probably want some thinner ones since you're working with wire. But these are all I can find. Y'all, please excuse if I start speaking gibberish sometimes. I don't know, it just be happening, like, I don't know. Next, you're gonna need some round things. These are if you wanna make like spirals and circles and stuff like that. Like as y'all can see, I got a little circle at the end and I use, you know, one of these to shape it. It can also help you with spirals as well, but I usually just do those with my hands. And last but not least, you're gonna need some scissors. Sometimes I use the scissors to uh do spirals with too, but most times it's just to cut the wire. All right, so now getting into how to do it. Sorry, I've been talking. <sighs> so the first one I'm gonna show you how to make is the most requested one, probably the um snake. Snake, that's what I like to call it snake that one is a little bit big for my nose that one i just showed y'all but i can make it smaller but i'm gonna show you how to make it so i think i'm gonna need like that much now i just get my scissors that i stole from the kitchen and my mama still don't know it's okay because she got another pair don't think we're using this one she has another pair so i'm gonna just cut it that's too much i'm gonna cut it like right here yeah I think this is too short. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use that later though, but I'm not gonna use it for that design. So I cut off my piece of wire. Don't ever call my phone again. Arby's. Do y'all know that TikTok? I don't wanna just seem weird like I'm just doing random stuff. That's a TikTok. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I want to do after y'all cut y'all wire is get y'all pliers. And this is going to be for the hook part. So I just take about like this much and I just bend it over. And then I like uh, like squeeze it with the pliers. Sometimes I have trouble because I got slippery fingers. Yep. Mm hmm. Butterfingers. All right. Uh, that's a little bit long. I can cut it though. First, as y'all can see, it's like a little bit of like going up. Cause you're not just gonna start it right after no that's just like no so depending on how long your nose is i mean you can either do more snake hoops or a longer like face i don't know what to call that but i'm just gonna do my nose ain't that real i ain't even gonna say no about my local there i go again with that gibberish jump uh all right and as y'all can also see it goes and it gets bigger and bigger but y'all don't have to do it if y'all don't want to that's really just 
it's just what you want. So I start by like taking how much I want, like you know what I'm talking about. And then I put my finger there and I banged it all the way to the side so it should look like that. And it's okay if it's messy because mm, I don't have an explanation for that. So now what I'm doing is I'm just keep going, I'm keep going back and forth doing that, like from the left to the right. Make sure you're holding your base. I hold my base like that so that it doesn't like bend and stuff because then you, you gotta fix that and it might fix the design. I mean, might mess up the design. And I just keep doing that. Make sure the first one is like really tiny. Might be, it might be like spacious like that, but you can go over it later. I'm gonna show y'all bro. Why do I keep saying what to do later when I could just show y'all later? Come on. See, there we go. I got it good. I got it good right there. And then I just go back over it and I just keep doing that basically. Try to keep it as straight as possible too. But after a while, it pretty much just start like, it starts like forming for you. All right, so I'm gonna do three, four. I don't know, I count it like sides, like one, two, three, four. Not one, two, you, yeah. okay. So when I get to the second one on the top, I um, fold it in the middle because that's where we want the little spiral. Ooh, this one is on the side, but I want this one to be in the middle because I had one in the middle, but I lost it. So this is where the little tools come in. So after you do all that and you have basically your, your whole base, I'm going to take the pliers now and I'm going to like flip it over. This is for the spiral at the end and right in the middle, I'm going to like bend it. If y'all can see, it's in the middle of it. And I'm going to get my circular tool, whatever you're using, and I'm going to start wrapping it around. This is kind of tricky. After that, I'm just going to wrap it like three times. So we're going to just cut it off. I like to use the baby scissors for this because it's like more precise. And you don't want any hanging off, so you gotta cut it like right, right at the spiral or whatever you call it. Literally, it's like right there. Y'all can't see. I don't know how I keep trying to show y'all. Uh, I'm trying to show y'all. Okay, so after y'all get the back figured out, whichever way y'all want it, this is y'all can tighten it depending on how big like this part of the nose is. If your things are spaced out, just like push them down, and they should go right. Okay, y'all. Uh, so we are back. I ended up making like a third loop. This one's kind of thin, but like, you know, you can like alter it or just make another one. Yes, I took my hair down because be, it's hurting. So now, when you're done, this is how mine came out. Pretty cute, I like it. Okay, so now that y'all get the basics of how to do it and everything you need and all that, I'm gonna show y'all two designs that I like and that most other people like. Just like to show y'all some inspo or whatever. Y'all can look on Etsy though. They have like a lot of inspo that y'all can see and try to do. So the first one is this. It's like kind of a flower. So I'm trying to show how to make that one because I really did like that one, but I lost it. So we need to straighten that. Hey. Okay, I looked at the inspo and now I know how to do it, I think. So like I said before, first thing y'all do, first thing y'all do, get y'all nose part together. I actually prefer using my finger for this because this makes it kind of boxy and it's more circular right there. So I just press my thumb, but that's maybe if you have on nails, you can use that instead. But I just take it and I press my thumb and then I press it against the nail and it makes like a perfect, but you gotta like make it tighter, but like that's perfect. You know see? So the first thing you're gonna do with this figure eight, whatever it is, kind of one. All right, see again, I don't know what I just tried to say, so please disregard that. So the first thing you're gonna do is kind of make a figure eight. Well, no, first thing we're gonna make is a P. So I'm gonna like do like about a centimeter, a centimeter of like up, cause this isn't really like a big one. So you're gonna need some, some wire to go up, if that makes sense. So like about that much, like, hold on. Like right there so you want to go around and this is what i mean by a p and if y'all need y'all pliers to like hold it while you pull a certain piece of wire because it will pull the whole thing so make sure that you like like i'm about to pull this wire to straighten it because y'all see that's like cricket right there so i'm going to put the plier right here so they hold it i need to straighten this piece out so i'm holding like the figure eight part and i'm just gonna like pull it so that it straightens out as y'all can see it's a lot straighter now and that's what i meant by a p so after you create the P, you want to kind of make it eight now. Turn the P into an eight. 
Does that make sense? Just make a figure, right? And this is where you can use the circular tool, but I don't think I'm gonna need it, but I might. So this is me just trying to, you know. All right, so that's just how I got it right now. I'll fix like the loops in a minute, but this is what it looks like. I don't know how to like do that focus stuff. Can y'all see it? Y'all see it. It's like a figure eight. So as a figure eight, your wire should end up like in the middle from coming from like that loop right there. It should end up like in the middle. And you're just gonna like make another circle right there. Y'all see what I'm doing? Just make that another circle. And once you do that, this one's not as clean as the one that was in the picture, but it's good enough. And I'm gonna cut the wire that meets like right in there. That's why I'm gonna cut it because like it's covered the most. All right, so now this is what I have. Mm, little baby. So now the side where like nothing is showing, like you have a side where you can see like all the loopage. Is that even a word? All the like where it crosses over and stuff, but there's a side where like you don't. And that's the side that I like to have in the front. So we gonna try this one. I wanna see how it look. I don't even know if this one would be cute or not. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, y'all, that was the first design. Now we're at this second design. That is what it's gonna be. This one, I've already done it. It doesn't look good on my nose, but it looked good on her nose. So I'm gonna try for people with her type of nose. If that makes sense. Okay, for that one, I know you're gonna need probably a little more wire than you usually would, so. So this is how long the wire I use is. It looks like a foot. I don't even know if this is a foot. Maybe like eight inches. This one, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use all fingers and just create these spirals. And I just do that by going around like literally like this. And then you just like spiral it. I don't know how to explain this one. But I'm just like literally going like that and spiraling it. Okay, uh, I'm not done, but I'm back. Cause I need to give y'all some tip. Okay, the spirals are tricky, but like I'm getting the hang of it. So the one that I'm doing, you have to keep them close together. So I'm making sure I do that. As I can see, it's like very close together. I'm not in the middle yet, so don't don't come for me. But I'm like using my nail to like hold it while I go around. All right, so when it gets to like that big of a hole, what I'm gonna do is that's why I'm gonna like make the second one. You see how it's like coming from the middle. And then you press it with this so that it's flat. And it should put it right in the middle. So I'm gonna go on to the next spiral part. But this already looks like it's gonna be too big for my nose, but this look cute on her nose, so my look cute on the other side. Okay, y'all, so I pretty much got the hang of this spiral method or whatever. Um, this is what it's like right now. Y'all look better in person, I promise. But when you come to an end, this is how much wire I had. So I really almost ran out. When you're doing spirals and stuff, you need more wire than when you're doing like any other design. So to come to an end with this one, I'm just gonna take the wire and I'm gonna like, like do that, but I'm gonna like put it in the middle. So like it, it doesn't show on the outside. Get your tiny scissors and cut that boy off. And when I say cut that boy off, I ain't just referring to this wire. Yeah. And now, y'all see how it's like protruding? Just get your pliers and flatten it. And boom. All right, and now, you already know, we bring it to the, to the bottom and we do the cup part. I don't even know if I'm showing y'all right now. I'm just trying to do it, bro.
these nose cuffs are a very cheap inexpensive way to make some jewelry if y'all are balling on the budget i definitely recommend these because they're much cheaper than those rings and okay I, I can guarantee that's the last time i'm going to be talking a different language thank you what did i say girl we don't know if y'all are buzzing i'm done bruh Anywho, I'm not trying to get in the way of nobody grinds, so I am going to put the websites of the Etsy shop that I got the inspo pictures from, and I'm going to put them in the description so that if y'all want to purchase them off Etsy, y'all can, but I mean, it's really up to you, whatever you want to do, because it is, mm, it's not really difficult, but you know, not everybody want to be all crafty and handsy, like, what are we, carpenters? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Carpenter, a person who makes and repairs wooden objects and structures so what are you talking about i hope those are the people that be like doing stuff like that but but anywho the websites are tagged or y'all can just go on etsy and look up african nose cuffs and all that will pop up anywho let me know if this helps you and if y'all made some please send me some videos because i want to see okay so i'm gonna stop rambling because i feel like i'm talking too much and i'm gonna do that if you have made it this far you are a real one because i wouldn't watch my videos but I hope this helped you guys.